Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. Welcome to another edition of Hometown Heroes on Family Life. I'm your host, Bill Price. Our guest this week, Akoi Agao from Jamestown, New York. He fled war-torn Sudan years ago. Now plays semi-professional basketball in Jamestown. But his real work is taking place off the court. We settled in Egypt first, helping relocate families who had fled their homes due to war. So went to Egypt, left Sudan when I was about six, six or seven years old. And then when we first resettled to the U.S., we moved to Maryland. Uh, family friends that we kind of knew that went through the same process also and, ha- and got help. And so we kind of basically followed them and we moved to Maryland in a little in a little town called Westminster, Maryland. So you're a big guy, about 6'9", Akoi. Um, now, I found it fascinating that basketball actually wasn't your first sport. You actually started out playing soccer. That was the thing that, you know, I love to do every single day. And then just kind of when I moved to the U.S., it was just kind of like thrust on me. Kind of, I remember in the beginning, people trying to tell me to play basketball. I'm just trying to figure out, like, exactly what that was. Yeah. It's like, well, you take a ball and you shoot it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to play that. I'm good with soccer. So it's two completely different things. You go from your feet to your hands. Yeah, a uh, little bit of a difference there. So um, you, you end up uh, in Nebraska uh, where you had uh, quite a lot of success playing this sport known as basketball, right? Yep, yep. Middle school, I started kind of getting more serious about it and just kind of taking it more seriously and became an everyday thing. And then kind of around like eighth grade, um, I was actually the high school that I ended up. So I ended up winning four state championships. So success came relatively easy for you, Akoi, at the high school level. Four state championships in Nebraska. Unbelievable. Coming out of high school, highly recruited by Louisville, Georgetown. Seemed like you had the world at your fingertips. And then what happened? Uh, Yeah, sometimes I joke that I peaked in high school. Um, But... You know, high school is just kind of one of those things like in eighth grade. And after hearing that, it was just like, you know, I had a goal and I was like, I was going to win four state championships in a row. And that was the thing I'm going to I was going to do. And I've always been someone, you know, if I say something, I'm going to do it. You know, sometimes it might take longer than others. But, you know, same thing with me saying I'm playing the NBA. Like, it's just I've just had a longer road. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's just something that's going to eventually happen. You know, I got recruited by just about everybody and, you know, kind of going to college and, you know, obviously Coach Patino saw the potential and everything like that. And the plan was, you know, go do my thing two, three years and be out of there. And that was kind of what I was looking forward to. And then I just started getting injury after injury. Yeah, and you're telling me about those injuries, the shoulder injuries, uh, four knee surgeries. You just could not catch a break when it came to being healthy on the basketball court. But uh, – I found it fascinating, Akoi, realizing that maybe a career in the NBA wasn't going to happen, but you were still going to use basketball to reach others. Tell us about that. My purpose is to serve and it's to give back. And it's just a lot of it is knowing what I came from and the people who were there that were able to help my family and help me and give me the opportunities that I had. And it's just like, you know, this is just a little thing compared to a big picture I'm very big on my faith and God didn't you know let me su- survive malaria he didn't let me survive 16 car accidents that I've been in he didn't you know make all these injuries and and I'm still fighting to play basketball mm-hmm. for just no mere reason it's it's a purpose you're listening to hometown heroes on family life our guest this week a coy a gal from Jamestown New York plays with the Jamestown Jackals semi-professional basketball team in the Pearl City. And for someone listening right now, Akoi, they don't have to be an athlete, just someone going through adversity in their life. What is your message to that person right now? The biggest thing is knowing that everybody has a story. Everybody has their own struggles. And at the end of the day, it's just deciding what's going to keep you going. Having that one thing that no matter how bad it gets, it's like, all right, I have to keep going because I have this one thing that I'm striving for or whatever it may be. Help as many lives and affect as many lives as I possibly can. Back 
That's a coy a gal from Jamestown, New York, this week's Hometown Hero. Join us next week as we search for your home, your town, your hero. It's Hometown Heroes on Family Life.